Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Wig and Counters. But before I get started on all of the details, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It is free. And also turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So in the box, they included a rat tail comb. They also included a makeup bag, and then you will get a wig cap. Now this unit I will be showing you guys today is a part of their Invisible HD Skin Melt line. This is a Swiss lace wig. It is six inches of deep parting space. Now this one is the Lace Front Curly Bob Wig. I have it in the natural black color. This one is also 14 inches and then 150% in density. So this is what the unit looks like straight out of the package. Like I said, it is a natural black color, so it is coming off a little bit dark. Once again, this is the Swiss lace. You do get two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. And they also have the removable elastic band on this unit. Now this one also does have a nice pre-plugged hairline. And they also have a bleach knots option on the website. This one came with the whole lace bleached. Um, but you do not have to pick that if you are not a fan of the companies bleaching your knots. So this is what the hair looks like after it has been freshly washed and air dried. I did style it on my mannequin head. I used my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner and my She Is Bomb Lotter Body Foam to style this wig. It was very easy for me to wash it. It was quick because they already bleached the knots for me and I didn't have to go in and pluck out any hair in the front. So this cap size is, I believe, a medium cap size. It's just a standard cap size, which is about a 22 and a half, I believe. I'll try to make sure to get that info for you guys once again. So now I'm just going to work on cutting off the lace on this unit. This is that super fine lace, so it's very, very thin and it's gonna blend in and melt into your skin. You wanna be very careful because one thing about this super fine lace is the ends can be, well, not the ends, the start of the unit can come off looking a little bit jagged because of the lace. So you wanna make sure to go in and cut off as much lace as possible that you are comfortable with and not leave too much unless you plan on either gluing it down or using some type of adhesive because to me, it kind of shows a little bit in the front. So I'm trying to get up close as possible. But that is what the unit is looking like before I decide to adhere it down. For today, I am going to go in and use my Olive Oil Super Hole Fix It Spray. And I'm just going to use the rat tail comb and I'm going to spray on the end of the rat tail comb and just lightly press it around the hairline. Because it did fit me okay, I don't wanna go in with the super hold. I just only wanna focus on the front and I'm really only focusing on where the lace starts because I don't want it to look like it's rolling up and I don't wanna see those jagged pieces. So now I'm just going in with my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum to kind of fluff up this unit. So one thing I will say is that out of the package, the unit has a much tighter curl pattern. To me, it's not really on the curly side anymore. After you wash it, I am getting like a loose wave vibe. You guys have to let me know what you think. I'm just making sure to comb out that cast from the She Is Bomb Fuse Foam so that it softens up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my Care Care Wax Stick and my hot comb and just press around the hairline and also by the parting space and at the top of the unit so that I can get it to lay as flat as possible. I'm just going to take my scissors and work on cutting off some of the hair at the bottom. It was coming off slightly frizzy at the bottom of the unit and I just wanted a shorter cut. Now this one is 14 inches once again, but it was coming off slightly longer on me. So you'll see me kind of going back and forth cutting the ends off until I'm happy with the way it looks and also making sure the top of the unit is laying down really flat because it was still coming off slightly humpy. So 
after I'm satisfied with how I cut the unit in the front, now I'm just going to work on putting some powder into the parting space. I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette, and that's just going to make it look a little bit more natural. Like I said, they did bleach the knots completely on this unit, but for me, the knots were more invisible in the front of the hairline. Like they did a really good job with that. And then the knots were a little bit darker in the parting space. So I do feel like you are going to have to use some type of powder or foundation to make it look a little bit more natural. I also went back and kind of fixed my middle part up because it was kind of slightly off to me. You guys know when I style on my mannequin head, my parts, my middle part to me is always a little bit off. But after I'm happy with it, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more powder and then put some around the hairline just to knock off that shine from the Fix It spray. I'm just going to put a little bit of spray on the edge brush and I'm going to just brush that hair back so that it stays in place. So guys, this is the final look of this unit. I love the way that it looks now that I have cut it down, especially in the front. The hair is very nice and soft and fluffy. I was a little bit concerned because after I styled it while it was wet, even when I put it on my head, I thought that it was coming off a little bit thinner. So I wasn't sure of how it was going to look once I fluffed it out because the density just didn't feel as high. So this unit does start at 12 inches and then you can get it at 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22 also. Of course, the more length you add, the higher the price is going to be. This one looks good enough to wear for every day and it's also lightweight. It's 150% like towards the middle, but at the top of the unit, it isn't as high as a density all the way around. So you're not gonna have a problem with getting it flat. As far as the lace goes, the lace melts in really well. You're not gonna have to really do too much with that. So they did a good job on it. And also they did bleach the knots, but like I said, in the parting space area, they did come off a little bit dark, but the hairline, around the hairline, it looks really good and melted in. So with this unit, I did end up wearing it for another two days and I did put it on with a wig grip. It was fine. It fit great to my head and I didn't have to do any extra blending as far as putting on adhesive and extra powder. I just threw it on and fluffed it up and went. But however, by the end of the day, I did run across a little bit of tangling in the nape area and the unit was coming off slightly dry. So I did have to go in with some extra serum just to make it look a little bit more moisturized. And I did get a little bit of shedding. So like I stated, this unit is coming off more of a loose wave after you wash it, which could be a good thing for some because it's not going to be as high maintenance and it's a shorter length, so you can just kind of throw it on and go and wear it as an everyday unit. So guys, let me know what you are thinking about this one if you are feeling it. If you guys are, I'll make sure to leave all the details down below in the description area once again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.